advise them to make use of Governor Makinde free education policy to buy a future for their children, youth in Ibadan land, under the umbrella of Ibadan Youth Progressive Indigenous Association, has called on the leadership of outside communities in Ibadan to evacuate their children begging for survival on the streets of the ancient city before the group begins and picking them and handing over to police for breach of public peace in the city. The registered association Ibadan Youth hinted Seriki Sabo, Alaji Dahiru, Hamad Zungeru, Alaji Haruna, Miyasin, and other Hausa community leaders in Ibadan land said as a matter of urgency they should evacuate the Hausa teenage beggars roaming around Ibadan Street in two weeks before the group begins its operation. The group mandated their parents to enroll their underage kids into the Oyo State Free Education Program, which, according to them, is a privilege for the children. The youth stated in a statement signed by its President General, Comrade Mudashuru, Kamorudin, Murekeji, and the Publicity Secretary, Akindele Alabi Ibrahim, in Ibadan on Saturday, said the people of the state cannot fold their arms and watch the outside children roaming the state without engaging them. According to them, the children are a potential threats to the well brought up children of the Ibadan people if they continue to watch them. It has got to a point where the embarrassing activities of the so called Hausa Majoris can no longer be tolerated in Ibadan. The Hausa teenagers flooding Ibadan major roads are, not, are now potential threats to Ibadan land. They are fed free flow of cars in major roads because of their arms. In conjunction, like Ojo and Mokola Roundabout, Iwo Road, Tantaliza, Iwo Road, Mr. Biggs, Baba Onilu, Iwo Road, Bus Stop and Gate, Iyano Church Junction, Challenge Roundabout, Baggy Area, Adama Singa, Bere, Ojaba, and other busy roads across Ibadan land are for the attention of their leaders. Apart from affecting the free flow of traffic, we observe that many of the amateurists may end up as criminals, drug addicts, and ready to in the hands of those who have, have very dangerous intentions. Calling for controls of amateurists in Ibadan, Metropolis, should not be taken as a hate speech in, or intolerance, but there is a fear of metamorphism of these aimless Aosakis as uncensored activities fueled major violence in the north manifesting into terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, drug abuse, and sundry social hills, IYPIA stated. The group further urged the Aosa parents to see the free education policy of engineer Shei Makinde as icing on a cake for them and explore it. Governor Makinde is the uncle Moses of our time in education system. Education is now free in Oyo State from elementary to secondary. The best legacy you can give to your children is education. Withdraw all these kids risking their life begging on busy roads and enroll them for free of charge in any of Oyo State government schools. Ibadan youth therefore advise them to introduce vocational and technical education which similar to those taught in technical government schools as this is this will also serve them as an and and work after graduation introducing the ama jury to meaningful vocation schools would reduce the level of begging on rules iypia added hmm. this is a very very good advice very very good advice and is a welcome development in the first place honestly speaking if this kind of a thing you know, can be happening in all those northern states. What are we going to be talking? We are not going to be having all those uh, children out of school. All those amateur juries will not have them. But the problem is that these people are playing to the gallery. And the earlier this, uh, uh, each state and each region, each each community begin to see this as a welcome development or for them to be able to say, caution all these people who are always begging. You know, there's a video I did concerning the commissioner of a, uh, uh tourism and art and tourism and what have you in Lagos state the woman was talking about that people should stop be, uh, begging should stop giving all those beggars money and a lot of people are not really too comfortable the way the woman puts it you know the question we are asking are what is the government putting in place 
to be able to cover all of those things because you cannot just say, oh, stop the begging, stop whatever. What are the things with, being put in place that the people can fall back on? Because they always tend to say, oh, because of the economy, because of whatever. But those children who are begging, are they the ones that are going to be fending for the parents? The duty of the children is just for them to go to school. Let the parents send them to school. But now what is happening in your states now? They are saying you cannot give excuse of not having money to send your children to school. They there's a program that the state government has already put in place. Enroll your children. Because if you give these children good education, you will enjoy it at the end of the day. See what is happening in another part of the country. They will tell you, oh, they are born to rule, they are happy, their leaders will be deceiving them. But see all the vices that we are experiencing in this country. It's as a result of what is happening in in the northern part of the country. They cannot contain it. Contain it. And yet, that is why you see them trooping back throw people back into other region. They will say, yo, we are free. Anybody is free to stay in any place. No, you are not free. If you are free to stay in any place, you should be uh, adding value to the community or society you found yourself. Not that, you know, being nuisance all over the place. See, everywhere will just be littered with the people who are begging. Go to Lagos, go everywhere, every city, almost everywhere in this country. You will see this, uh, they are the same set of people begging all over the country. Their own place is a different body mentality. Then you tell me what is their, what are their leaders doing at various levels? What are they doing? They will talk about a quota system. That is the reason why they they they, they reduce, they make more clear of education even in that area. Why others will be having cut off mark? They will reduce the cut off mark in their own side just for them to be able to go to education, to school, just for them to be able to be encouraged to go to school. Yes, they don't see go. And these people in this area say, we cannot tolerate that because it's as a result of all of these children who are not being engaged meaningfully. That is why we are seeing, experiencing what is affecting the whole country. You talk about a, a, a bandit and what have you. Affecting everybody because there are people who have refused to do the right thing. If you make mention of a, oh, the illiteracy in that place, they will be, they will be triggered, they will be, ang they will be angry, they will be this and that. And that's why this people say, it is not matter of hate speech because if you guys and it is you know highly uh, 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 wicked wickedness that these people who call themselves leaders in the north cannot see this thing and help these children and you claim that you have power like uh, what uh, she uh, sounds sunny said see there are three things that they use the northerners they use this uh, for they they don't they don't use them for anything when it comes to census oh they will say you are they have the population they are using them to gather population so that when you are making budgets, they will make, you know, big budgets to them so that they will get more money. Then when they get the, more mo the money, the people, the so-called majorities, the, the commoners, will not be able to benefit from it. It will still go into the pockets of the leaders. They use it. That is what they use it for. Use them for. Census. Oh, yes, we have the large numbers. We take off election. Ah, you will start seeing them bringing all these people to vote as underage uh, children. And there's one particular one. I've forgotten the third one. The, the, the three things that you made mention. I did a video on that. So you can imagine. So every city, every community who wants better life for their own people should discourage this uh, begging and this uh, children littering all over the place because they are going to be uh, a bad influence to other children. And that is what this particular uh, group in Ibadan, that is what they are trying to say that they want to avoid it so that their own children will not see it as a as a normal thing because they will not condole it. And they are giving them two weeks to remove them from the road. Enroll them in school. So you can't tell us that oh because of a because of a, a money, you don't have money to send your children to school. That is why yeah, you can't send them. Now there's free education. So what are you going to be complaining about? They don't just I don't know just know why it's so rampant. And this is the it is the fault of their of their leaders. It is the fault of their leaders. And they are making mockery of these people and they are taking advantage of these people, which is not supposed to be. How can you be put children on the road, be begging? And again, it causing a lot of things. It's not even making the old place looking neat, making the old place, you know, so unorganized. So they are giving them two weeks and it's a welcome development. Before you know it, they will say, oh, they don't like them, they don't whatever. Ask yourself, the question is that, do these people, do they really reason when you see children roaming the streets? Are they the, are that the kind of things that you're supposed to, the legacy you're going to give children? Because if you do, if you have, if you have, if you have good plans for yourself, why would you want the children, the kind of life you are living, you are sitting down there begging and all of that. And that is what they are teaching these children. That is what they are grooming them for. 
So it is a welcome development. I I totally support this uh, youth in this uh, 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 in Ibadan that they don't want it. It's very very appalling. Very very appalling. Someone says only uh, thing I know is that Mr. Mumurik won't agree with this idea. Of course, the yeah, if, 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 if Professor Ishak Akitola because when they talk now, he will twist the whole thing. He will turn the whole thing as if what is happening is the right thing. You know. One of them who is even who who uh who, who is a, the former uh, candidate of a wanted presidential candidate, Gaba Adamu, saying, Oh, Amajiri is the pride of the north. You can imagine Amajiri is the pride of the north. Hmm, very unfortunate. Someone says those who have sympathy for the Amajiris should stop giving arms to them on the street. Instead, assist as many as possible to access education. Learn trees and etc. We must make streets begging by able bodies children unattractive. Thereafter, it will be easier to persuade them to embrace schooling. And that is what the, uh, the Commissioner of uh, Arts and Culture or Tourism saying in Lagos that people should stop giving them money, stop giving them money, but they should be able to provide um, uh, some measures for them to be able to fall back on, just like uh, what is happening in. Or your state, but the problem is that if their their governors are doing all of those things in their state, honestly speaking, they will not be in Lagos. State, they will not be in uh, or your state. They will not be in other states. Why is it that the the, the citizens or the 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 indigenous of all those states they don't go into begging? Why is it that you will come from all your all the way from your state? You come and be begging. Who does that? And that's why they are saying no. We don't want all these things to start affecting our children because this begging of a thing before when other children are seen because it's not their lifestyle. They will want to start emulating them, you know, unconsciously. So it's a welcome development in my opinion, and it's a it's a it's a very big shame to all the all the uh, uh, northern governors. Very very big shame to them. Why would you leave your children, people from your region, to be begging? Children are not in school. What are the things that you are doing? What are the things that you are feeding them with? So guys, I know that you guys have a lot of things that you need to say concerning this. Let us have your comments in the comment section. Thank you very much.